So my submission is about my course. I teach in small product design where last year students work in interdisciplinary teams in order to tackle innovative challenges that come from different external uh, stakeholders. The goal of the course is to learn students to go through this iterative design process, starting from a one slide challenge um, and ending with a innovative uh, product with, which will be demonstrated with a working prototype and an inspiring marketing movie. But in most cases, more recently, I'm very happy and proud to say that they don't end there. Um, the prototypes uh, show up in musea, in festivals, and recently even different startup companies um, are started from uh, these student cases. So for me, the most innovative part is that the course itself has also been a very iterative design process in which we as teachers learned that because we have a lot of fast changing technologies that we want to teach, we don't uh, focus too much on the content, on the knowledge transfer, but it's actually the process, the way we teach and how we coach the teams, that's very important. So that's why we started to act more as coaches, trying to inspire, trying to support and trying to motivate the students, which also resulted in much more intrinsic motivation. So the students were very happy with their own results along the way. And that also showed a very much higher uh, learning effect. The, the learnings from this course have led to a recipe that I like to share with others. And this rep recipe is building sand castles, has different ingredients. But the most important ingredient for me is here, learn to fail and learn from failure. And so don't be afraid to try new things, take some risk. That's how we learn the most and can be very creative.